The next ones. I hate these ones where you don't do calculations. I'd much rather do calculations. <laughs> Is another estimating one. We are going to estimate the standard deviation without calculations. Standard deviation is how far it gets from the middle, right? What the deviation is how far away it is. So when I'm estimating the standard deviation, I'm looking for how far or which one's the farthest from the middle, closest to the middle if I'm going to the other end, but I'm thinking about where I am to the middle. So if I look at those three things, which one has the values that are farthest from the middle? always for some reason like to work my way backwards. B would be farthest from the middle, right? My middle would be here at 6. This one goes from 3 to 9. This one goes from 4 to 8. And this one goes from 4 to 8. So 3 to 9 would be farther from the middle, right? So that's going to be my biggest one. The B is going to be the last one. So on the next one, they both went from 4 to 8. I want to figure out which one would be, I don't know how I want to word that, the next farthest away from the middle. But here what I'm looking at is, this one only has 2 in the middle. This one has, or 2, 1 at 5 and 1 at 7. I'll word it that way. This one has 2 at 5 and 2 at 7. So my values are going to end up being closer to the middle because they're more stacked up there in the middle, right? So this one, A is going to be farther from the middle than the C is. The C is going to be the closest to the middle. It has more values in the middle. So, whoa. So on number 14, if I can find where number 14 went. Hmm. Again, I'm comparing their standard deviation. Here my middles are going to be at 7. So which one would have the biggest spread that's farthest from the middle? Which one? B. Yep. B would be. This one goes from 1 to 13, 2 to 12, 3 to 11. So 1 to 13, definitely a farther spread. The next bigger one would be? C. C went from 2 to 12. A went from 3 to 11. So C is definitely has a farther spread. And then, of course, the A is going to be <coughs> one that's going to be closest to the middle. That one was an easier one. <laughs> All righty. Number 15 here. Again, I'm looking for the standard deviation, so the one with the biggest spread that's going to be farthest from the middle is going to be... Which one did you say? B. B. That one went from 3 to 11, that one goes from 4 to 10, and that one goes from 4 to 10, so definitely the 3 to the 11 has the biggest spread. Here we're going to look again at our middle. I might actually do this closer to the middle one first because here this one has more in the middle than this one does, right? Mm -hmm. So this one's going to go first, that one's going to go second. So I have the C and then the A. I'm going to throw my papers on the floor. So if I have the same spread from 4 to 10 and from 4 to 10, whichever one's closest to the middle is going to be the one that's first or has more stacked up in the middle. Okay? 